What is going on, All-Terrain Nation? Today is uh, the day the Bronco finally gets off-road, and we are taking it to Prentice Cooper. We're actually at Prentice Cooper right now, and we thought we'd have a little bit of fun with it. Now, I, I don't expect the trails here. It's been probably eight years since I've been here, so the trails were never too uh, gnarly then, so I don't expect them to be too gnarly now, but since our Moab trip got canceled, we thought, hey, let's go get this thing a little bit dirty and uh, see what happens. So, without further ado, let's do this. There are dinosaurs on this trail, correct, Kelly? Oh, Lord, here we go. Here we go. The stories, flashbacks. All right, Kelly, your girl is, uh, she's off, off pavement now. She's no longer a pavement princess. Yeah. And of course, <laughs> we've done gravel roads with this thing before, but man, it's, uh, these tires got to get off this thing. They do. We pulled on that gravel road and I said, let's go, turn around. Yep. Beating my baby up. Yep. They, uh, they are rock magnets and I mean, it's, it's nuts. Uh, good tire if you just want to be on the pavement, but there's no way I would want to run these. Not consistently. Not consistently mm -hmm. on the pavement. Nope. Maybe Moab, they'd be fine. Maybe. Cause there's not, you know, it's really just sandpaper. Yeah. One thing I've noticed, Kelly, the diabolical uh, cage back there is pretty damn quiet on the trail. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you hear a squeak every once in a while, but it's nothing that you should. You, I mean, you added something to a vehicle that wasn't intended, so I don't. I'm not concerned about it. But it's actually really quiet. I'm very surprised. Um, yeah, and actually, they have a video on their YouTube that is talking about like diabolical case maintenance or enclosure maintenance, mm -hmm. um, and they actually talk about you know like. Eventually, things are going to loosen just a little bit. You just add a little foam here and there yeah. to the different places. And but yeah, probably tighten some bolts back up. Yep, actually, on. that was one of the things, too, was tighten up the bolts. Because it's just, I mean, even though you've got a nylon nut, it's still going to yeah. rock a little bit with yeah, stretch a little bit. Yeah. All right, Kelly, so something we both noticed about riding in this, and, and these trails are by no means extreme, but the smoothness of this vehicle, like with the complete coil setup that it has, mm -hmm. is just real smooth and, and just not harsh at all. No, not at all. You know, I mean, obviously you're still off-roading, so you're gonna feel, but yeah, yeah. it's nowhere near what we felt in different vehicles that we've Yeah, felt. yeah, our, our old Jeep would have beat us the crap out of us. Um, <laughs> I think the I think the Gladiator would be comparable. I mean, I think the setup of it it would be comparable. Maybe not as smooth as this, but um, but especially versus some of the older stuff like the FJs and the Xterras and stuff, night and day difference in this thing. Oh, for sure, I completely agree. We were, yeah, we were actually talking about that. Is like we would have just felt like beat to crap in our Xterra. Yeah. Now we understand we're talking about a 2021 versus you know yeah. a, a 2009, 2009 Xterra. Xterra. So. You are kind of comparing apples and oranges to an extent, but at the same point. But if you're, you're part of that also, audience, if, if you're part of that audience yeah. that that you own those vehicles and looking to upgrade. Right. Exactly. I mean, and you're talking about a ten thousand mile vehicle almost yeah. versus you know one hundred and forty. But <laughs> even in its heyday for us, it still was not as smooth as this is. Yeah. No. This has been a nice. Th this is a nice little break in. I know haters out there are going to be like, man. you didn't go to Moab, you're not doing extreme stuff or this or that. We will, trust me. But I think also, and this is not an excuse, I think it's also good to take your vehicle out, learn the vehicle. These are great trails just to, we're in two wheel drive, man. It's not, we're not doing anything crazy, but 
you're getting to learn the geometry of how the vehicle feels, how it goes over rocks. Mm -hmm. Every every vehicle is different. Well, it's like we've talked about, you know, take it out wheeling and feel that organic experience before you start modifying your vehicle. So that way you really know what you need. Right. If it needs anything. And honestly, at this point, I'm I'm really kind of good with what we've got. We've not done anything too extreme today, but yeah, no, I still think I'm, I'm good with the setup we have at this point. Oh yeah, I think down the road probably thirty seven. When when this becomes more of an extreme use vehicle, I think yeah. definitely thirty sevens, and, and we'll work at that down the road. But like you said, I think right now this, especially for I think seventy five to eighty percent of the market, this setup is perfect for this vehicle. And for sure. Obviously, we're enthusiasts enthusiast of this vehicle, but I'm also going to be. I'm not going. I have no reason to be you. Yeah, yeah. If I thought this was a hunk of junk, I would tell you that, and I'd probably sell it, and move on. But so far, it's great. Now we've got our friends in there, uh, JK up in front of us. Of course, they're on 35s, true 35s, and uh, they're having fun too. Now there is a sport, so it's nothing crazy. But you know, they obviously me and my buddy Jim, we've wheeled together for years and years, and and we kind of know our rigs, but. He's, he's just out here enjoying it, his little mall crawler there, and, uh, you know, that's how you should do. There's no shame in if you have a mall crawler and you just want to do this kind of stuff, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Mm -mm, not at all. I, but, you know, <laughs> I was okay with it being a mall crawler even when we hit the, hit the gravel on this one because I was like, oh, no, we're probably going to scratch her up. But at the end of the day, you know, you come out here to get away from the world and enjoy, we call it wheeling therapy. Yep. Um, because you kind of disconnect from the world and just see things that you can't see on the pavement. Yes, and you disconnect by holding technology <laughs> in my hand and filming this for you guys on plane, of course. Uh, but Kelly, let's get back to having some fun out here on the trails and enjoying it. Let's do it. Kelly, it's nice to see Onyx works on the uh, the screen, our eight inch screen there, and uh, that's uh, a lot bigger than my phone. Yeah, it's actually pretty nice that I know kind of the idea of where I am because the normal nav is gonna just be like, nope. Right, and of course they have, you know, this is not, we're not sponsored by Onyx, I can tell you that. But it's nice that uh, we're out here on the trails, and like I said, these are just basically service roads, but um, look at that. And it's in pretty good detail too. You see the trees and everything. 